Hey there, everybody. This is my Cat Noir, Chat Noir um, baton that goes on his back. I made this out of a dowel rod that was about maybe an inch and a half across. I went and sanded it with a very fine grit sandpaper and tried to get it nice and smooth. I sanded down any kind of the edges. You can kind of tell on mine that it's not perfectly circular at certain points. This was an old scrap that I had laying around. So there was some splintered wood that um, I had to kind of sand down by hand. Um, but yeah, it's real easy to just not do that, but I didn't want to go and buy another piece of dowel rod. Anyways, <laughs> so once you sand it down real nicely, and the smoother the better because you're going for the illusion of metal, you're going to want to use some kind of primer on it. I used a filler primer, but you put a couple coats of that on and then you kind of sand it down smooth. And after that, I used a chrome spray paint on it, which gives it this really reflective sheen and it doesn't show up the best on video or pictures so I'm sorry. Um, all the green had to be hand painted on so he's got a little thin strip of like a, a neon green probably because there's like an LED inside it but this is wood and I'm not really gonna do that this time around. But so I chose a picture or a color of green which would appear to stand out against this. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm happy with the shade I picked, but I can always paint over it a second or third time, as long as I'm careful. But so, about an inch from the top and an inch from the bottom, you are going to very carefully paint as thin a line as you can <laughs> around the entire thing, and then his little paw print. Now it was really hard getting reference images for this, not because of the shape of the paw I needed. So I'm not sure if it's like an animation error or if there's just not a lot of reference for this, but sometimes it's totally all green and lit up like this, which I'm assuming because it's in use, or it's only like the outline of it and then all the inside is silver, but then I've also seen screenshots where there's no green, but you can see like the indent of where that paw is and where these lines are. So not entirely sure which one you would want to go with, but if you're looking for something cheap, fast, and easy to make, I would definitely suggest using a dowel rod and just some hand painting. So. That is how I made my Chat Noir baton. It does not expand. I'm sorry. That's, that's just a project for another day when I have more time. So, this is Dusky Dreamer. Hope you enjoyed my video. And be miraculous.